welcome to Made Fit TV. I'm your host, Jenny DiDonato, and this is episode number 141. Made Fit TV is everyone's source for health and fitness information and entertainment. Fit bodies don't just happen, guys, they're made. So welcome to the show. I know it's been a while. We took a little bit of a break during the summertime for about a month or so. And uh, we're doing some things different that I really want you guys to know about. Um, I will be announcing, by the way, the winner of the Niagen contest that I did on Facebook on my fan page. Um, anyone who ordered uh, through Niagen.com in the month of July was eligible to win uh, a Made Fit TV package, a uh, fitness package with a, a free uh, gym bag, free water water bottle, towel, t-shirt. So I will be announcing the winner at the end of this show. But like I said, doing contests and be doing a lot of contests and a lot of uh, communication through my fan page like I've been doing. So go to facebook.com slash madefittv. Make sure you like the page. And that is where I'm going to be doing a lot of the contests, promotional codes, and even answering Made Fit TV emails and giving you guys workouts on there. So that's going to be a lot more interactive because Made Fit TV is going to, these podcasts I'm doing on YouTube are going to be a lot more just like tutorials showing you how to work out getting to the point and we'll be doing uh, during the week I'll be doing some live view streams so we can communicate get more personal as opposed to doing them here on made fit TV so this right here is going to be instructional for you informational still a little bit of entertainment but mostly instructional and uh, help you guys out so Let's get started. Uh, today is, uh, I had a viewer email, and I had a couple through the months. People mentioned, Jenny, can you just show us how to do, you know, a set chest workout or set leg workout? So this episode, I'm showing you a great chest workout that you can just do. A lot of times, people just want to do split routines where they're doing one muscle group a day. This is what this episode's about. So even if you don't like to do circuits, you just want to hit one muscle group, this one's for you. I'm also going to show you how to correctly do these movements so when you do do them, whether they're in a circuit or in a split routine, you're doing it correctly. So I'm going to show you four movements for the chest to isolate. Mm, get nice and strong. So first thing, you can do this at a gym or at home. This is just all around what you're going to be doing. So I'm going to use this ball as uh, a bench, okay, if you don't have a bench at home. So I'm just going to grab some dumbbells. This is a chest press. So what you're going to do is you're going to sit on the ball and then roll your feet out. A lot of times people are afraid they're going to fall back, but you're not going to. So you're going to see how I'm rolled back, supporting my neck and my head. My feet are parallel to the ground. And see how the dumbbells are not starting here. You want to start right here. Make a nice 90-degree angle with your arms. Elevate your butt. You want to press up and center, nice and fluid, bring it right back down. Center and right back down. Now notice I'm kind of exploding on the up, then resisting on the downward because you want to work the muscle on the downward mo movement as well as the contraction. So you almost want to think a tempo of one, pause, one, two. One, pause, one, two. Too. So that is a great chest workout. It's isolating the pec major and the pec minor, and uh, you're making sure that you are working that muscle so it gets stronger and it can uh, grow as well for either guys or girls. Girls, don't be afraid. You're not going to look like a man, I promise you. I lift heavy. I don't look like a man, I don't think. Okay, the next movement is just going to be a standard push-up. But if you really want to up the ante with the push-ups, you want to add a little bit of weight. I'm just going to throw a little plate weight on my back. Uh, nothing impressive. This is just seven and a half pounds, but I like to use maybe 25s or 30s if you really want to be that creative. But start with something like a five pound or even a seven pound. Hands, I know I've showed you guys this before, but you can never be too, uh, too cautious with the push-ups. About shoulder width apart, up on the toes, abs tight, bring it down, <sighs> exhale at the top. Same concept as a chest press, but instead you want to do a slower downward motion, <sighs> explode on the up. Abs tight, downward, whew, explode. One, two, one. One, two, one. Make sure you're looking your head up. You don't want your head down. Don't want your butt up. Don't want to sag down. Keep the abs tight. Push-ups are great. They're very underrated, I think, and I believe that push-ups are one of the best movements you can do to not only develop your chest, but also develop your triceps and your shoulders. You don't have to be doing isolation movements all the time for arms because Push-ups really do target them. All right, the next move I'm going to show you, if you have a machine at home or if you're a member of a gym, like a lot of you guys are, just a simple chest press. Don't be intimidated. Seated chest press. You're just going to sit down. You want to set the weight at something that is not too challenging to start with because, remember, the machine also has a certain amount of weight on it when there's no weight stacked on it. So just keep that in mind. So make sure you adjust your seat 
forward or for, or down up, making sure that the handles hit right at the chest, kind of like equal to the nipple, okay? Talking about nips. Um, <laughs> so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pull it out. This is your starting position. You wanna start and end where the weights are not touching. Remember that you don't want the weights to touch ever unless you're completely done. So you're gonna start just like this. <sighs> Exhale, resist, bringing it in. Go right back to the starting position. Don't let those weights touch. <sighs> and back in. And what you can do, what I love to do, is I like to open up my palms, so now I can isolate through the chest. Now you don't wanna raise the shoulders. I see a lot of this, I see a lot of arching back. Wrong, do not do that. You want your back nice and straight. Shoulders relax, keep the shoulders down, because if you hike those shoulders up, you're not isolating your chest anymore. You wanna keep those shoulders down, <sighs> shoulder blades and back glued <sighs> to the seat, okay? That is the perfect way you can do a seated chest press. Now the third movement is a chest fly. Now as, as opposed to doing a pressing movement with a, with a fly, you're squeezing, you know, mm, squeezing the pecs. So I'm gonna grab a resistance band, but if you have a cable machine, if you have access to a cable machine, you can use that as well, which I prefer. Now if you have a banister, if you have one of those poles in your basement, anything, even a door attachment that a lot of resistance bands packages come with, you can use that, but I'm just gonna put this around here because the camera's right there, so. You're gonna angle it up so it's e even. Come forward so you're feeling resistance already. You wanna start so you can see your hands, palms facing forward. You wanna see your hands in your peripheral when you're looking forward, so I can see them on each end. And whoosh, close in and resist. I always see people that just allow themselves to just, uh, no, because you want to be able to feel that resistance on the eccentric as well as the concentric, the contraction. So same concept, <sighs> explode, one, two, bring it to here. Don't go beyond the shoulders, keep it taut. You want to keep that resistance, want to keep your pecs flexed. See it rhymes, flex your pecs, okay? Perfect movement, squeeze like you wanna squeeze a chestnut between your chest, you know, think about that too, chest, all right? So those are four basic, perfect movements that will be sure to develop, strengthen, and grow your chest, make it strong, and have a nice, shapely upper body. And remember, maybe anywhere from 10 to 15 reps, you wanna hit uh, almost to muscle failure at the end of each set, rest a minute, go back to it, and careful those shoulders, guys. Don't lift too heavy, because you wanna be able to lift when you're 80 years old. You don't want your tendons and your ligaments and everything to just, boom, bust out on you and tear rotator cuffs. So you gotta be careful on that building the stability. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Now, it's time for the announcement for the contest, for the Nigen contest. Like I said, I'm giving away a nice fitness package to someone who ordered through Nigen uh, this month. Nigen is my favorite supplement company, and I offer, um, and they're nice enough to offer to you guys a discount. So whenever you order through Nigen, you get 10% off using the promo code MADEFIT. Just go to madefittv.com. You will see the link on the side, and also in some of the episodes, just click on that. It'll take you right to the Nigen shopping cart. Pick out what you want, type in MADEFIT, Fit promo code, 10% off, comes right to you. You can even get free shipping with an auto ship program that they set up for you guys. So um, the winner of this week's had a lot of entries and I picked randomly. And the winner is Jamie Burchette. Jamie is from Michigan, actually. So I want to congratulate you on your new fitness package and I will get that in the mail to you right away. So thank you so much for that. And uh, like I said in the beginning, you guys, I'm going to be doing a lot more contests. I have some promo codes uh, that I'm going to be showing you guys on the Facebook fan page. Go to facebook.com slash madefittv. I also have one coming up for hyperwear. Remember I showed you the hyper uh, pro vest. Have a really great discount code for you guys for that for about 15% off. So um, keep an eye out and uh, thank you so much for joining us for Made Fit TV. We will see you next time. Fan me, uh, friend, like me on Facebook on the fan page and look out for any you streams that I do for you guys to do live chats. We will see you next time. Bye.